Well, here's this uh, Hall Sensor Electromagnetic Levitation Circuit with a uh, magnet rotor being spun up by a light-powered electronic circuit. That uh, little driver board is actually out of one of those uh, Lucky Money Cats, so solar-powered Lucky Money Cats that um, I got turned on way back when by Mescal turned one of those lucky money cats driver circuits into a pulse motor and that really started me off on all of these uh, circuit board powered uh, pulse motors that I've done uh, over the last few years but anyway this is powered by an LED right there on that little uh, solar panel and then the rotor has four small magnets and then uh, there's uh, two magnets on that little cup. There's one inside and one outside. And it's just held with a traction. And then, of course, the electromagnet uh, is controlled by the Hall sensor that sits underneath there. And then this dandy little circuit that I had so much trouble with controls the whole thing. And uh, that's uh, just running on a 9 volt battery. Draws a lot of juice, so I'm using a uh, rechargeable 9 volt battery. And um, Use that. I just hook a uh, wall outlet transformer up to it, and it runs just fine as long as it's dampened out. But anyway, I thought you'd enjoy that. Uh, some of the guys that work on these pulse motors, there's a, a rotor that's completely levitated by uh, electromagnetic um, attraction. This is an attraction situation here where the coil is pulling up on that cup. And I'll show you the cup here. It's uh, it's actually a plastic shot glass that I trimmed, and uh, that's all there is to it. Then there's a, a magnet on the outside and a magnet on the inside, and that's what uh, holds the thing. Let's see if I can get it to suspend again. These things are kind of tricky to get going. Uh, anyone that's worked on this stuff knows that uh, they're rather critical. But there it is. And then to get it going, because it's so unstable, I use a straw, and I get it blowing with a straw, I get it going with a straw. And after a minute or so, that'll stabilize out and become stable. But unless you get it rotating, uh, it just sits there and bobbles around. Um, it, it, sometimes it gets going, but usually it just sits there and bobbles around. But anyway, that's the uh, kind of the last video on this series um, what I may do is take this circuit and put it on a board and save the circuit with a uh, circuit diagram and maybe a description of, of what happened and how it happened so years from now I can look back on this project and remember the learning that went on to get that all to happen thanks for watching